Hello friends, welcome back to your own channel Engineering Network. I am back with another interesting topic. So in today's lecture, I will be talking about six different properties of a good quality concrete. Now many friends asked me that please make a video on the properties of a good quality concrete and how they will recognize a good quality concrete on a construction site. So in today's video, I will explain the major properties of a good quality concrete. Before that, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon so that you will never miss a new video from Engineering Network. Okay, so in this lecture, I will be talking about the properties of a good quality concrete. Now, we all know that the concrete is a mixture of cement, sand, aggregate and water. And the properties of concrete are greatly influenced by many factors. So without wasting any time, let's start with property number one. So at number one is the strength of concrete. Now strength of concrete means that the concrete must have the ability to withstand the stresses that is subjected to it, okay? For example, if the concrete is used in the construction of slab, then that concrete must have the strength to resist the stresses produced in slab due to the coming loads. And also we know that the concrete is very weak in tension zone and strong in compression zone of a structure member. So all those structure members subjected to compression stresses such as pairs, columns, abutment of bridges, the concrete is safely used in their construction. While in members subjected to the tension stresses such as beams and slab, it is necessary to reinforce it with steel bars. Second property of a good quality concrete is the durability. Now, durability means that the concrete must have the ability to withstand the weathering actions such as wind, rain, frost and variation of temperature. Now, it basically means that the concrete must have the ability to resist the deviation in temperature. And also, the concrete used in the construction of drains and sewer structures which are in touch with the seawater must have the ability to withstand against the chemical salt of seawater. Next property of a good quality concrete is creep. Now creep is basically the plastic deformation under sustained load. Creep strain depends on the duration of sustained load which means that the longer the load is applied on a particular structure member the more will be the creep strain produced in that particular structure member. So as per IS456 specifications, the value of the ultimate creep coefficient is taken as 1.6 at 28 days of loading. Next property of a good quality concrete is the workability. Now, workability is that property of concrete by which it can be placed in any specific shape. So, if it is a workable concrete, then it can be poured and molded into any shape varying from simple beams, columns and slabs to complicated shells and domes. Now, there are many laboratory tests that are performed on the concrete in order to check whether the concrete is workable or not. So the most commonly performed test is the slum test, which is used to check whether the concrete is workable or not. And also the good quality concrete should be without any honeycombing, segregation and bleeding. Next property of a good quality concrete is density. Now by density, it means that the concrete should be without any voids and it should be properly compacted. So if a concrete is properly compacted and mixed, then there is very small chances that voids will be present in that particular concrete and that concrete will be called as dense concrete. Now the strength of concrete is directly proportional to the density of concrete. 
which means that the denser the concrete is, the more will be the strength of the concrete. So S per I is 4, 5, 6. The weight or density of concrete should be 3000 kg per cubic meter. Next property of a good quality concrete is shrinkage. Now it is the property of concrete in which the volume of concrete reduced during the process of drying and hardening. Also it depends on how long the concrete is exposed to the high temperature without any proper curing. So if there is no proper curing then tensile stresses in concrete will produce and hence cracks will be developed in the concrete. So these are the six qualities that should be present in a good quality concrete. So I hope that this lecture will clear your concept and if there is any quality of a good concrete that I forgot to share in this video, then please let me know in the comment section. And if you find this video informative, then please like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. And also don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will never miss a new video from Engineering Network. See you in the next video.